hi besties welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut and sew this adbada bubu kaftan dress this is the inspiration and this is the one i recreated so my client said she needs a longer version of this which you can also go ahead and make a longer version of this or a shorter version this just depends on you so if this is something you're interested in then keep up watching these are the two materials I'm going to be using for the making of this bubble kaftan dress. This is Africa print and I have 6 yards of Africa print here which I'm going to be making of 4 yards from it. And this is 1 yard of yellow mikado. So you can make it of any material of your choice. So I've gone ahead to cut out 4 yards from the 6 yards that I have and I went ahead to fold it into two. So after folding your own into two, you're going to have something like this. The labels are going to be on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it into two again, which is going to give me four pieces because I'm going to be cutting both the front and the back together. So once I was done folding it, I have all the labels on one side. This is one, two, three, and four. So I have all the four labels on one side. So I'm going to be taking all the measurements from this part that is closed. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the wideness of the neckline I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead and place my tape at the middle here and I will mark 3 inches for the wideness of the neckline. Then I will come down by 1 inch, okay? So I'm going to be cutting the back neckline first. So I'll go ahead and connect it like this. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to take my shoulder measurement. So I want to, to mark out the shoulder measurement which is 7 inches. So from this shoulder point, I'm going to measure how long the sleeve is going to be. This depends on you. So for me, I went ahead to make use of 9 inches. From the shoulder point, I marked 9 inches, okay? So from this point, I'm going to come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. So after marking it, I will connect it from this neckline to the 1 inch I came down with, just like I can see me doing. So after marking it, from this point here, from this 1 inch I came down with, I will mark... 10 and a half inches okay 10.05 for the uh, wideness of the sleeve so you can go ahead and make it of level inches or 10 inches which depend on you so i'm going to take a measurement from this point to this point here so whatever i have i will replace it at the down so we'll go ahead and measure it from here to here whatever i have here i will bring it down to this point here i will replace it here this is why i'm doing this is just to have a straight line so I'll go ahead and mark a straight line across with my ruler like this, okay? So after I was done with that, I will place my tape on the shoulder. I will take the bust point of my client, which is 11 inches. So I will mark a point there. I will go ahead and use a straight ruler and mark a straight line. So from that bust point, I'm going to divide my client's bust by 4, which is going to give me 10.05. I will mark it. Then to know the total allowance you are going to be adding, all you just need to do is to come to this point here, this line that we marked here. I will measure 1.05 inward, okay? From that line we marked for the sleeve, I will mark 1.05 inward. Please pay close attention to what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and place my tape on the shoulder line like this. I will measure my client's hip point, which is 26 inches. Okay, so I will mark a straight line across like this. So now the total measurement I'm going to be adding to the hip line. What I'm going to do is to take the measurement I have on my bust point like this. Then I will add one inch to whatever I have. I will replace it like this on the hip line. Let's say for instance, what I have on the bust point is 15 inches. I will add one inch to it, which is going to give me 60 inches. I will mark it on the hip line. Then I will come to the down part of the bubble dress, which is the hemline. I will mark whatever I have on the bust point here, okay? So if what I have on the bust point is 50 inches, that is what I'm going to mark at the down area. So once I was done with that, I will go ahead and connect the hip line to the armhole area like this. Just watch out how I am doing this. So I will use my straight ruler to connect a slant line from the hip line to the hem line. Okay, I do this a lot if you've been watching my booboo videos. So once I was done, I will go ahead and cut it at. Okay, so when cutting it at, I went ahead to add half inch at the side for sewing allowance. Then when it comes to this sleeve area, I'm not going to cut through the line we mark. I added 1.05 for 
folding allowance so i advise you to add two inches for folding allowance instead of 1.05 so once i was done cutting it i'm just going to open it up like this then i will remove the inner one which is going to be serving as the back okay so it is time for us to cut the front neckline I will go ahead and fold the fabric into two, arrange it perfectly well. Then I will place my tape on the neckline. I will slant it like this. Then I will mark 8 inches downward. So I will go ahead and connect from the damp part to the neckline like this. After connecting it, I will go ahead and cut it out. So if you want your own neckline to be deep like 9 inches, 10 inches, you can go ahead and do that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to cut out the front neckline design so i've already gone ahead to cut it out as you can see i went ahead to fold it into two after folding it into two i went ahead to iron it after ironing it i went ahead to cut out the size that i want for this booboo dress so after folding it into two what i have here is level inches okay the wideness is level inches and the length is 22 inches so i'm going to bring the front part of this dress like this so this part that is folded like this um, point here is going to be facing this side that is also folded on the Mikado material. So I will place it together like this. After placing it, I will arrange it and pin it down. Then I will go ahead and cut out the neckline on the Mikado like this. Then I will cut out the shoulder as well. So after cutting it, I will go ahead and remove the material. Then I will mark how wide the shoulder is going to be on this. So the wideness I want is 3 inches, but I went ahead to mark at 3 and half inches. Half inch is going to be for the foldy allowance. So what I'm going to be doing next is to take the measurement from this point to this point like this. So whatever I have here, I will come to the down. I will also measure it. I will mark it, okay? So after marking it, I will mark a straight line across like this to join the points together. Then I will also go ahead and cut it out. Then I will place my tape on the shoulder like this. I will mark how long I want this um, front design to be. So for me, I'm using the half length of my client, which is 16 inches. I want it to mark 16 inches. Then I will mark a straight line across like this. So after um, marking it, I'll go ahead and cut it out. And while cutting it out, I added half inch for folding allowance, which gave me 16.05. So I'll go ahead and open it up. If you check the design on this uh, bubble dress, you are going to see that one side is low and one side is high. So go ahead and place your material on your body to know the side that is going to be low and the side that is going to be high. So I've gone ahead to place this on my body. So the side that is going towards the left hand side is the side that is high. So I will place my tape on it like this. So this side that I'm marking is the side that is going towards the left hand side. I will go up by three and a half inches. Then I will mark a slant line from this point here to... The three and a half inches I mark upward. I will mark a straight line across. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So when cutting it, I added half inch for sewing allowance. Then I'm going to take this to my ironing table and iron in half inch like this. I will fold in half inch. I will iron it and I will do the same thing for the other side. Then I also fold uh, the down inward with half inch. So guys, I've gone ahead to fold it in and this is what I have as a casing, okay? Just make sure you fold it in and do it gently. So what I'm going to be doing next is to attach it to the address. So this is the back part of the dress facing towards the upside, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and place this on it. So this is the front part of the Mikado. This is the front. It's going to be facing the back, okay? So I'm going to turn it like this. It's going to be facing the back part of this Ankara. Then after facing it on it like this, I will go ahead and pin it. I will pin it after pinning it i will take it to the sewing machine i will sew it like this to this point like this i've gone ahead to sew it and this is just me notching it so make sure you notch it after notching it i will turn it to the front part like this just watch out what i'm doing i will turn it to the front like this so after turning it i will go ahead and iron it okay Go ahead and iron it so guys i've gone ahead to iron it and there's something i do a lot most especially when it comes to the middle part this point here okay sometimes when you are done ironing it it will not be smooth so what i do is i will just place my hem um ball on it like this i will iron it at so the reason why it's not really smooth is because i'm using gas iron so if you're using 
steam and your maybe there's light you can go ahead it will be smooth so i'll go ahead and fold this part in well like i will fold it in very well i will pin it down because we're about to sew it so go ahead and pin it down like pin it around it's very important for you to pin it because if not when you are sewing it you have issues with it so i will take the sewing machine i will sew it towards the edge like this like this like this so this is me sewing it okay sewing it towards the edge just watch out what i'm doing so guys if you are enjoying this video do it to like comment this really help my algorithm a lot and also subscribe you can share my channel with your friends your co-fashion designers let them come and learn new things here yes. and please follow me on instagram at official promoted sandra and also follow my personal handle at sandura culture you're definitely going to like what i put up there okay so once i was done sewing it the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and cut out the pocket for the front if you check the dress you're going to see that there is pocket on it so i have these two pieces that i've already gone ahead to cut out and the wideness of this piece is about eight and a half inches and the length is about nine inches so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and fold the upper part like this okay i will fold it once and then i will fold it again i'll go ahead and iron it so after folding the upper part i will fold the side like this i will fold it just once okay because we are going to be sewing that part to the dress then i also go ahead and fold this other side just once then i will go ahead and fold the damn part like this and i'm going to be doing the same thing for the other one i'm going to fold the other one like that but make sure you fold the upper part twice okay because that part is the part that is going to be opened where you're going to be inserting your hand on so i'll go ahead and place the two together just to make sure both of them are equal so what i'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and open up my dress the front part of the dress i will fold it into two just like as you can see me doing i will go ahead and iron it at the reason why i am doing this is for me to be able to know where the center is okay so go ahead and iron it at then i will place my tape on the shoulder of the dress i will mark my client's half length which is 60 inches i will mark a dot across on it like this because this is the front part of the dress i don't want the check to rough it okay so from that uh half length line i just marked i will come down by four inches so go ahead and mark four inches downward but i'm going to be explaining something later on that's why you must pay attention this there's, there's one particular mistake i made here i will correct it at the front so what i'm going to be doing i will come to the line i marked here from this point i will mark four inches inward so this is where the pocket is going to start from like that is where i'm going to place it so i'll mark a dot line around like this and this is the pocket as i was about to place it on it i discovered that i have not sewed the upper part where i folded twice so take yours to the sewing machine and sew it okay just always sew the upper part the part is folded twice so for me i've gone ahead to sew the two and this is it so what i'm going to be doing is from this point i went ahead to mark in four inches just like I, as i earlier said then i came down i marked in four inches this is just to make sure the pocket is straight then i will turn the material to the other side i will transfer the line to this other side just like as you can see me doing okay you can go ahead and retake the measurements if you want but for me i wanted to transfer the points to this side then i wanted to mark four inches inward on this other side so once i was done i'll go ahead and open up the bubble dress like this that is the front part i will open it up so remember i marked four inches on both sides when i folded the and dress into two so from the first one that is going towards the uh, right hand side i will pin the pocket on it from that four inches i went in with i will pin the pocket on it then after pinning it i'll go ahead and pin the second pocket towards the left hand side like this so I'll go ahead and pin it and when you are pinning it make sure you fold in the half inch you you ironed inwards so after pinning it i will go ahead and sew it towards the edge like this like this okay so i will sew the side the down and the side okay so this part is going to be the pocket where you're going to insert your hand 
so guys remember i said i made a mistake right so after i was done uh, uh marking the half length for the pocket remember i added extra four inches so after i was done sewing it it was not on the right position like it was too upward so i went ahead to loosen up the pocket and instead of marking four inches mark six inches from your half length mark six inches instead of four inches so guys i've gone ahead to turn the back neckline just at, just like as you can see so what i'm going to be doing now is to shape in the dress so i'm going to place the back on the front like this and the right sides are both going to be facing each other so i'll go ahead and pin the shoulder like this and i'll pin this other side as well so after pinning it i will take it to the same machine and sew it with half an inch and i also sew the other side so guys i've gone ahead to sew it and this is how it look like as you can see the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and fold the sleeve area with one inch i will fold it in i will fold it again i will go ahead and sew it after sewing it i will also sew the other one then after sewing it i will shape in the side then turn the down part of the dress so this is the outcome of the dress i hope this tutorial was helpful Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, comment and also subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye.